Hey, you guys, so we're going to jump right into it. So right now I'm taking NYX Jumbo uh, Pencil in Milk, and I'm using that to prime my lids because we're going to use a really vibrant color on the lid. So you want to use white. That way it really sticks out. Okay, so after you have that blended out, we're going to take the Juvia's Palace um, palette, and we're going to use the shade Morocco, and we're going to use that as our transition shade. I like to put it in my crease and then blend it out from there. That way it's not so harsh by your um, eyebrow. I be seeing that a lot. Like a lot of people, it be like a whole bunch of color like right there. And you're supposed to put it in the crease and then blend it up. That way it blends out beautifully. Okay, so next we're taking a round dome brush in the same palette in the shade Kenya. And we're going to use that and we're going to put that in our crease. And as you see, I actually kind of put the color on my lid. See, I'm putting it on my lid and then I'm blending it out. So it's the same technique. So wherever you want your color to be, kind of put it a little bit below where you really want it to be. That way you can blend it out. And I like to start off light and work my way up. So what you see me doing is building that color up. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to be going back and forth, back and forth uh, between my brush I use with Morocco and the brush that I'm using with Kenya until I get the desired look that I want. And I'm just, it's just about blending for real. So now I'm taking that same NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil and I'm going to cut my crease and prepare my lid for the vibrant color that we about to put on there. I think I already told y'all, but y'all about to see anyway, so. So now it's time to add that pop of color, which is yellow. So we're taking yellow. Uh, I'm using my Morphe palette. You'll see at the end because um, I was short on time, so I didn't pick up the palette until I was halfway done. But um, I'm using my Morphe 35B palette with that nice, pretty, like, it's like a rich yellow. You guys will see because I will lift up the palette. So then um, you just want to pat that on and build up the color to this, you know, to your liking. Don't just do one one stroke and think it's going to cut the, cut the check. So next, I'm going in with a really pretty vibrant pink. I thought that would be really cute right there, you know, giving pink lemonade teas. You feel me? You feel me? Okay, y'all, so this is the yellow that I use and that's the pink that I used for my lid. I told you, I, I look, I'm looking, I'm, rush, I'm on time, okay? I'm slow on time. Well, they're not slow on time. What's the word, y'all? I don't got no time. That's what it is. <laughs> so that's why I'm rushing like that. But now we're taking that um, same Kenya color and we're just putting it on our outer crease just to blend it all together and make it darker on the edges. So now I'm going in with my lashes on my lash line. I ended up mixing Casanova and Sweetie. Link will be down below to purchase. Actually, they're unfortunately sold out, but I will still put the link down below for my website so you guys can look around, see if you maybe want to buy something. And do not forget this step of applying liner on top of the lash line. That you, after you apply your false lashes, this is so important. It helps conceal the band and just makes it look so much better, you guys. So do not forget that step. Okay, so now I'm just spraying my face with rose water by, I'll put his name down below, <laughs> um, 
but I'm using the foundation that I'm using is Revlon Color Stay in the shade Caramel, and I mixed it with my L'Oreal True Match in the shade N8, and that just gives me that perfect shade for my skin tone. And I'm going in with my Elf Beauty Blender and just to blend all of that out. So now I'm taking Tarte's Shape Tape uh, Concealer and Foundation. The foundation is in Deep Honey, that's what I'm applying first. And then the concealer is in uh, Tan Sand, and that's what I apply second. And I'm using that as my concealer. The foundation is a little too orange for me. So I like, so I found this little trick that I like to do for my under eye concealer. So it brightens my eye without like making me look too ghosty. So I like this. So that's what I use it for. <laughs> I use foundation as my concealer. And it's thick enough too. Like the, the foundation is freaking thick and coverage is crazy. So that's what I use. Okay, so now I'm just going to set my entire face with MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC47 and just dust that all over my face. Next, I'm taking my Becca Cosmetics um, Highlighter in Champagne Pop. Pop that on my cheeks. And then I'm taking, I'm mixing my Chestnut Lip Liner with my I don't know what that lip gloss is. I've had that lip gloss for the longest. But I want to say it's snob, but don't quote me. Uh, and then I'm taking that same pink that I used on my lid, and I'm using that on my waterline. Give me a pop of color underneath my eye. Now I'm getting these little baby lashes at the bottom, and that's pretty much it. We're setting our face with some more rose water and some uh, Scandinavia, all that good stuff. No, that's Urban Decay, sorry. And let's get to this hair. Let's take this hair out and get straight to the look, y'all. Yes. <laughs> Why did I just say yes like that? Anywho, this, if y'all would like for me to record how I got this look, definitely let me know. It's a natural hairstyle and it's real quick, easy, and it don't take long, so. Let me know. I might still do it if even if y'all don't say anything. And we out this thing, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? So champ. Why am I so champ? Why am I so champ? And if champ, it ain't from DMV, champ just mean like, you a little, you a little special. Alright y'all, so this is my outfit, which is this one. I don't have time, y'all, but I'm gonna show y'all. So this is like this cute little jumpsuit. Right? This is a cute little jump. I got this in brown, y'all. <laughs> I am. And then I'm putting on this little fur jacket. I got my fashion over. But I'm gonna just roll the sleeve up because the sleeve part is long. I don't got a brown one, but I 